Hey everyone, it is the dude. Yeah, I was off all last week on vacation, went down to the ocean, had a great time. But one of the most important things in Hearthstone in many a year happened on Tuesday. And that would be the 40 card deck now available that everybody's been wanting for quite some time. Not everybody, but many certainly spoke about it and what it would be like. So it's now here. So I got back Saturday night late. I looked up Raffle just to kind of see what he had. And this is what he had as one of his first ones. And man, it's got my name written all over it. So it's a 40 legendary deck. And, you know, at the end of it, after Prince Malkazar and things like uh, Brightwing, and there's one other card in here, you're going to have well over 50 legendary cards in your deck slash hand. So it's, it's a lot of fun. And it, the best thing about it for me is a lot of these cards I haven't played in a very long time. So we're able to kind of dust them off, bring them back, and play them. And it's just a lot of fun. Can't make the deck all golden, which is a bummer. Prince Renthal, we could probably craft, or he will be in the Tavern Pass. Not quite sure where you're going to get him golden, but we'll find out uh, next month in August. So since I couldn't craft the whole deck in golden I decided not to do it in hopes that some extra twos might come out for the druid or neutral class legendary because these twos really suck the only really good two and the legendary slot between druid and neutrals is Zephyrus the Great so these guys are just in here for their stat line a two mana card at two three is kind of staple kind of normal so they kind of fill this two slot up pretty good and I'm sure that's why Raffle selected them <laughs> Excuse me. The only other card I may craft all golden is Ivis. I've played him a couple of times so far. He seems to work out pretty well. Um, I think he's a pretty decent card. I don't think he's great, but I think he's, he's decent. So we may craft him. We'll see how things turn out. So we have Ivis the Fire, excuse me, the Forest Lord. Jungle Giants is here with Barnabas. Haven't played this quest in forever, so I'm super happy about that. Uh, once you get the Barnabas quest completed, uh, just shenanigans will start to unfold. The good thing, um, not really the good thing, but the thing about this deck and Barnabas Quest is it's really, it's just an afterthought. It's just meant to happen later on. It's not going to happen right away, so it's not meant to drive the Barnabas Quest. It's just here as an extra little token, an extra little nod of fun things you could do along the way. You have Sir Finley, of course, with Ambassador Phelan. Uh, I did craft this card all golden for this deck, even though I couldn't craft the rest because it's such a great card. I was kind of, I was kind of surprised I didn't have it already in my card set. Uh, I love it when a golden card put three colossals on the bottom and then those will all be golden. So that's why we craft some of these cards for reasons like that. Sir Finley, we talked about using it with Phelan. Sphere of Sapiens is great. Help really helps us out early game to kind of grab some cards that we need. We talked about these two. We talked about Zephyrus, which makes it a Reno deck. We have Arch Druid Nerelix, which it was not in Raffle's deck, but it is in mine. I think it's a great card, even though it's dormant. Uh, we don't like to really get it on three. We like to get it later on and play some of these dream cards. Um, so that's why he got switched out. We have the Arch Spore Mishafin and Mishafin Prime. Braun Bronzebeard has about five different combos you can play with him throughout the deck. Brightwing being one, but that's probably the worst. Mancrick and his old lady are here. Prince Renathal, Zola the Gorgon has made a comeback. Love this. Grab myself another Zephyrus, another Reno, or one of the other many cards along the way. We have Ambassador Phelan we talked about. Blade Master Okani is good. Uh, that's new. That's staple. Things are playing there. Elise Starseeker with the Golden Monkey. There he is on the card. Super sick. Great card arc. Fun to have you back. Flabidinous Floop has made a comeback. Thank you, Mr. Floopster. You are a ton of fun to play. Friz Kindleroost is here. Sky General Craig just for the 4-2 Parrot with Rush. Twig of the World Tree. The Late Game Shenanigans. Uh, at least the Enlightened, that's going to be another way to grab and get over 50 Legendaries in the deck slash hand. You have Lothiv, he's our Diamond card. We have Prince Malkazar, there's an extra 5 at the start of the game. Talon Fordring is staple. Wildheart Guff for some serious fun from 10 mana to 20. Zeliax is here. Emperor Thorsan with his Kamikaze Headband is sick. Reno Jackson, Sylvanas Wind. 
Runner is here, one of the best looking cards in Hearthstone. You can Brawn Mutanus if you so well choose, which a lot of people seem to love that combo these days. We have Ragnaros the Fire Lord. Lich King is making a cameo and is here just by request. We have Dragon Queen Alex Straza, Ysera, Aviana for late game fun, super old school fun. Cthulhu the Shattered for a win condition you probably never need. Kun the Forgotten King, Neptulion the Tide Hunter, and Raid Boss on Nixia. Cthulhu the Shattered is really here for the breakout cards. Uh, one being the Destroy a Minion, and then the other being the Taunt. Those are probably the two best cards. We've named the deck Rofflers in uh, homage, homage to Roffle. We'll go ahead and jump into a match here. I think we're about a 75% win rate. We are playing it casual. Roffle played it ranked. He got three wins off it. How he did, I'm not quite sure. He was right around 3,500 in Legend when he played this. So he was mainly facing meme decks and uh, shenanigans. And so I think that's how he got through and made the video with three wins. Uh, nothing you want to play ranked here. I would never play this ranked. It has no AoE, no removal, only single tar target besides um, Zephyrus. And I mean, you're lucky if you get Zephyrus when you're playing 40 plus, 40 plus almost 50 uh, legendary cards. <coughs> so we'll take a quick look here and see what the stat line is. We'll run it at a 74% win rate, 32 wins, 11 losses. We just lost our last match versus Warlock. <clears throat> trying to show you guys a good video. I've recorded quite a few, and I just, nothing has been as spectacular as some of the early matches. So I want to try and get a good, good match to show you guys the fun stuff that can be had. Government Cheese we faced already, so he's probably going to concede. He does have the coin here, though, and maybe that will make him stay. I should have kicked a Blade Master Okani. That was my bad. That does not belong early game. All I saw was a four mana card, and I got excited. So a little misplay right there by me, right out of the gate. We love the beginning because we get our three cards and kind of shows the opponent we're not messing around. We'll go ahead and go Sphere of Sapiens first and Jungle Giants turn two. That way we can choose our card next turn. Sphere of Sapiens is super sick. We love it. We want a different card here and we get a different card. And uh, we'll just go ahead and pull out the Jungle Giants. We probably should have swung with the two on the button and then play the Jungle Giants turn 3, so that's a potential misplay on me again. <clears throat> but if we get a 3 mana card, then we can play it, so you never know. You never know. This is a great card, so we're going to take it, plus it'll give us an extra Zephyrus. Go ahead and hit that here. Call it good. Uh, Government Cheese is probably not happy with me. He's probably just sitting here. He may play something here, though. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat has just not been cooperating lately. Okay, so you're just going to emulate. Alright, well that gives us a couple of turns to do some things, so we'll go ahead and play this. Although it's turn four, so let's go ahead and play this. We're going on a dangerous voyage. Next turn we'll play the five, the Elise, the Enlightened, and we'll grab ourselves another Zephyrus. And then we have one more turn to play Blade Master Okani. So we'll get our cards back. Uh, I do hate that card. I think it's one of the worst cards in Hearthstone. But that's me. Uh, let's go for a new card. That's a great card. Let's go ahead and go here, though. Need a hand, Explorer? Mm-hmm. And now we have eight cards. And we'll go ahead and take this in. <coughs> Why are the other ones? Oh my god, it copied them and they are sus now too? Oh, that's not cool, Hearthstone. That's not cool at all. Like, that's not cool. That's not cool. That is not cool at all. 
So I think we go here for sure. Do we play something before we go there? We can with the five. We can also play something else here. So many contradictions. I'm still not happy that it did that. That seems really cheesy to me. But I guess uh, that's the first time this has happened uh, for this deck, so I guess that's what I get. I have not played that card into mm. Immolate before, so I guess I'm learning. So we'll go ahead and go here. I'm not wild about this one, though. This one's probably better. Hopefully that takes care of the Immolate. Yeah, it looks like it took the Immolate off of the cards. So we're good. Oh, hello, Hydralon. Oh, hello, Zalag. Zalag. Oh, hello. Two sevens right here. What do we want? We don't want a different card here, for sure. Oh, and we get Guff. Hello. What happened there? Why did he die? What did I miss? Oh, we countered it. Oh, we got your Anron. That's hilarious. Now we can do whatever we want. I love it. I think we'll play our Guff. Maybe not. Should we come out big? How curious. Let's go there. Not Did they're not charged. That is outside my reach. I know it is. But I can't help myself. I can't help myself. Alright, that was funny. That was a great <laughs> that was a great move, I must say. I got super lucky there. That was perfect. <clears throat> okay. Oh, he super defiles me. He super defiles me. That was a good move on his part. I'll give it to you. Doesn't he pop? I thought he popped. Oh, it goes again. Now he pops. No? No pop? What am I missing here? I don't know. I'm missing something. I thought it was a pop there. Um. So we go with the stalks. go with that but that's not really ready yet so let's just chill with that let's go with this here I see. and we'll go with this guy we have friends now. Hello, friend. hello friend uh, I don't think we want not to do that impressed. not impressed Oh, because since he wasn't able to summon his third 1-3 enemy warders, it's going to stay dormant forever? Is that right? Is that how that works? Oh, man, this this poor kid's getting punished. I have no time for games. This poor kid's getting punished. Let's stash that away. You should stash it away. I know I would. I certainly would. I think we'll go here. Yep. There. Then we'll, I think we need to start our guff stuff going, so I think we'll go guff. And then pump up our dragons. And that's our fourth? Yeah. That'll be good. That'll be good. I feel for you, Government Cheese. You better have some damn cards in your hand. I might have saved that one. I don't know that I would have gone all in on that, but okay. Okay, we gotta go now. We need our quest to be completed. And there's our Barnabas. 
He's ready to become a stomper. Job done. So 13 next turn. Thank you. Thank you, Lich King. We're so happy to have you here. You're my buddy. That's not going to get you out of trouble, bro. But I like it. It was a good try. But now we got Barnabas. He's coming. He's coming for you. And the deck becomes zero. Let's grab ourselves a little card here. Oh, and we're now got nine cards. Oh, okay. At least we don't have um, Lich King up, so we're not going to grab another card, so we won't uh, burn a card, so that's good. Government Cheese is giving it a run. Okay. 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 So we're gonna grab another card here. Do you have the artifact? I am gonna have the artifact here in a minute. Oh, I don't think we wanna go there just yet. So I think we'll go here. I break your body. And I think we're gonna go here. High five! High five is right. Oh, this is a fun match. I got it. Yeah, this is a fun match. This one's a good one. 13 versus 34. So you can kind of see the uh, the difference here in the deck size. It's kind of funny. Oh, don't be that guy. Everybody's got one, though. Right? Everybody's got one. What are you going to do? What do you discard? Ticket test? She's got two ticket tests now. Okay. So I think we go here. First of all, let's go here and um, hopefully we get to silence the 2-1. Oh, we've got more in our deck. What do we have double of? What did I miss? Who's on first? I missed something. What the hell did we copy? My winged children fill the skies. Life and hope. Yeah, we've definitely screwed up something. Um, let's take the seven to the face. Okay, that's fine. And then we'll go with Ziliax. We'll take the five up. Then we'll call it good. So we should have him right here. We should have him right here. Uh oh. What kind of clear does he have now? That's fine. You can corrupt my cards all you want. I've got a deck of 27 cards. So we win. Oh my gosh. Talk about luck. This kid is on a spree. He's refusing to go down. We don't want to play that. Yeah, let's go here. Free your mind from its bonds. <laughs> Punish them. That's good stuff. I forgot about the stocks. Oh, that was a good one. Well, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. I really enjoyed this deck. I'm having way too much fun with it. Um, always 
good to get a subscribe if you enjoy the content. And uh, good luck out there as always. We'll see you next time.